What's good, YouTube? Cessation of Cesarius here, and I'm back with another Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video. We're here for July 31st, 2020's Vendor Reset. So let's get right into this to see what we got good for this week. Okay, so for our first gear items, you want to head over to Camp Hudson. Here, the gear vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the talent Tenacious on there. It has a gear score of 266. The armor is 884. It's roll for electronics 1220 and the attributes this has is critted chance and blind death resistance. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the base operations. Here the dark zone gear vendor has some tactical gloves with the talent savaged on there. They have a gear score of 270. The armor is 867. It's roll for stamina 1268. And the attributes this has is critted damage, health on kill, and skill haste. Also, here we got a prototype performance mod with 4.50% ballistic shield damage resilience. And also here we got a Tyrant Suppressor with 7.50% crit hit chance, 4.50% optimal range, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the weapons vendor here. We got a rugged mini reflex sight with 7% crit hit chance, 2% accuracy, and 4.50% optimal range. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the gear vendor and here we got a prototype electronics mod with 200 electronics and 3% damage to elites. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the advanced weaponry vendor, and here we got our Omega Rifle Suppressor with 17% headshot damage, 5% optimal range, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the special equipment vendor, and here we got a Cassidy with a gear score of 277. It has 303.50% stagger, and the Thompson has is Vicious, Self Preserved, and Boomstick. Also, here we got a Tactical SASG 12K with a gear score of 273. It has 318.50% stagger, and the talent this has is Adept, Determined, and Fierce. Also here we got an Operator Vest with the talent Rapid on there. It has a gear score of 273. The armor is 1,906. It's Royal Force Stamina, 1,236. And the attributes this has is Exotic Damage Resilience, Enemy Armor Damage, and Ammo Capacity. Also here we got an Operator Pack with the talent Inventive on there. It has a gear score of 264. The armor is 1,146. It's roll for electronics 1176 and the attributes this has is skill power and disrupt resistance. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% seeker mind damage. Also here we got a mega rifle suppressor with 18% headshot damage, 5% optimal range and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items we're still at the base operations. Head over to the special blueprints vendor and here we got a classic M60 blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got an electronic glove blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got a small laser pointer blueprint with a power level 34. And we also got an MK4M5A2 scope times 15 blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items we're going to head over to the cavern. Here the gear vendor has a spec ops mask with the talent tenacious on there. It has a gear score of 269. The armor is 963, it's roll for firearms 1163, and the attributes this has is skill power and blind death resistance. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to Camp Clinton. Here the special equipment vendor has an Astorian with a gear score of 265, it has 150% headshot damage, and the talent this has is capable, ferocious, and Astorian repeats. Also here we got a Vector 45 ACP with a gear score of 264, it has 20% crit hit chance, and the talent this has is brutal, adept, and capable. Also here we got a SOCOM SCAR L with a gear score of 276, it has 19% enemy armor damage, and the talent this has is self-preserved, deadly, and ferocious. Also here we got a Black Market SASG 12S with a gear score of 271, it has 347% stagger, and the talent this has is competent, meticulous, and vicious. Also here we got a Gunslinger Vest with the talent Reckless on there, it has a gear score of 271, the armor is 1728, it's rolled for firearms 1236, and the attributes this has is all resistance, skill haste, and ammo capacity. Also here we got a tactical pack with the talent inventive on there. It has a gear score of 267. The armor is 1,202. It's roll for firearms 1,129. And the attributes this has is stability and burn resistance. For our next gear items, we're still at Camp Clinton. Head over to the special blueprints vendor, and here we got a classic RPK-74 blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got an electronics blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got an electronic knee pads blueprint with a gear score of 256. And then also here we got a quick release magazine blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, you want to head over to Dante's Run. Here the gear vendor has a prototype firearms mod with 206 firearms and 3% damage to elites. And also here we got a prototype performance mod with 4% support station healing speed. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to Madison Stan. 
Here the gear vendor has a Spec Ops armor with the Talent Reckless on there. It has a gear score of 277. The armor is 1,898. It's roll for stamina 1,263. And attributes it has is exotic damage resilience, enemy armor damage, and ammo capacity. And also here we got a prototype electronics mod with 257 electronics and 1% crit hit chance. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to the Southpaw. Here the gear vendor has a tactical pack with the Talent Relentless on there. It has a gear score of 275. The armor is 1,278. It's rolled for firearms 1,206. And the attributes this has is skill power and bleed resistance. And also here we got a prototype electronics mod with 256 electronics and 3% skill haste. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the grind house. Here the weapons vendor has an M700 tactical with a gear score of 271. It has 167% headshot damage. And the talents this has is vicious, talented, and elevated. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the crypt. Here the weapons vendor has a tyrant suppressor with 7% crit hit chance, 4% optimal range, and 6% headshot damage. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 34th Street checkpoint. Here the dark zone vendor has a black market M60E6 with a gear score of 268. It has 20% damage to targets out of cover, and the talents this has is deadly, destructive, and brutal. And also here we got a small grip with 19% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 42nd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a tactical M249 Paro with a gear score of 265. It has 21% damage to targets out of cover, and the talents this has is adept, deadly, and predatory. Also here we got a Spec Ops armor with the talent Rapid on there. It has a gear score of 278. The armor is 1,947. It's rolled for firearms 1,250. And the attributes this has is skill haste, enemy armor damage, and ammo capacity. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% sticky bomb damage. And then also here we got Omega Rifle Suppressor Tan with 17.50% headshot damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 46th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a tactical mask with the talent Tenacious on there. It has a gear score of 274. The armor is 970. It's roll for stamina 1,146. And the attributes this has is skill power and increased kill XP. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 53rd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has an operator pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 277. The armor is 1,287. It's roll for electronics 1,225. And the attributes this has is skill power and burn resistance. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 61st Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor has a VX1 scope times 12 with 18.50% headshot damage, 4% crit hit damage, and 4.50% optimal range. For our next gear items, you want to head over to East 58th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Gear Vendor has an Operator Mask with the Talent Enduring on there. It has a gear score of 258. The armor is 870. It's roll for firearms 1,123. And the attributes this has is health on kill and disorientant resistance. Also here we got an operator vest with the talent vigorous on there. It has a gear score of 280. The armor is 1,996. It's rolled for electronics 1,238. And the attributes this has is exotic damage resilience, skill haste, and increased kill XP. And then also here we got a tactical pack with the talent relentless on there. It has a gear score of 266. The armor is 1,232. It's rolled for stamina 1,153. And the attributes this has is critted damage and burn resistance. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to the Park Ave checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Weapons Vendor has an ACR with a gear score of 269. It has 18% enemy armor damage, and the town this has is unforgiven, ferocious, and deadly. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 53rd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a prototype performance mod with 2% pulse crit chance. And also here we got an extended magazine with 113.50% magazine size, 4.50% reload speed, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 40th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a Gunslinger Vest with the Talent Vigorous on there. It has a gear score of 272. The armor is 1,917. It's rolled for electronics 1,176. And the attributes this has is health on kill, enemy armor damage, and increased kill XP. For our next gear items, we're going to head to East 34th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a Marine Super 90 with a gear score of 268. It has 342% stagger. And the talents this has is vicious, fierce, and adept. Also, here we've got a prototype stamina mod with 259 stamina and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. And also, here we got a C79 scope with 17% crit hit damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 31st Street checkpoint. 
Here the Dark Zone vendor has the operator mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 271. The armor is 916. This roll for firearms 1164. And the attributes this has is all resistance and disorienting resistance. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to the 5th Ave checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a SASG 12 with a gear score of 275. It has 337% stagger, and the talents this has is deadly, fierce, and accurate. Also here we got some spec out gloves with the talent savage on there. They have a gear score of 272. The armor is 883. It's rolled for stamina, 1,237. And the attributes this has is pistol damage, LMG damage, and crit hit chance. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 2% pulse crit hit damage. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to DZ3 safe room. Here the Dark Zone Weapons Vendor has a SOCOM M1A with a gear score of 274. It has 167% headshot damage and the talents this has is unforgiving, cool headed, and brutal. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to DZ5 safe room. Here the Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor has an SR7 suppressor with 17% crit hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 5.50% headshot damage. Alright everybody, that's it for our Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video for July 31st, 2020's Vendor Reset. I hope everybody who tuned in too found them something that they needed. If you hadn't, smash on that sub and like button. I appreciate that support, y'all, and I will see you with the next one. Take care. Peace.